My one uh, ask of Jameer or of this offense is to get Jameer more involved in the passing game. I really can't even talk too much. It's probably more of how they're using him because targets wise, he's getting about four a game. So if you do the averages through four games. So like even the targets are there in the passing game. I'm not worried about Jameer. I think the only thing everybody and I would speak for Lions fans for, on this is you're waiting for him to just pop one because you know he has the ability to. He's gotten some, he's gotten some, he had a 20 yard run, uh, a 21 yard run against the Falcons. He kind of saw a flash of that. Had an 18 yard run against Kansas City on the road. But I, I'm not going to overreact here. Um, you'd like him to get in the, it, 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 you know, in the end zone one of these days, and I know it's coming soon, so I'm not going to panic, but. There you go, Austin Eckler speaking on Jameer Gibbs. What are, you, what are your thoughts on it, Sam? Sure, Turner? and Austin Eckler is one of those backs. He's one of the two in the NFL right now, at least in this era, who have dominated from the running back position while never having a thousand yard season. And I think some people envision that from Jameer Gibbs. I mean, even when he enters his prime. And here's a couple of reasons to not worry about Jameer Gibbs for me is one what he did against Atlanta when he was actually asked to be a starter. He carried the ball 17 times for 80 yards, 4.7 yards per carry. He did more than enough to help them win that game, and I was very, very happy with what I saw. And the other reason, too, is because the Lions are winning. They are 3-1, and one, and I'll be honest, if the Lions were having a disappointing season, if they were 2-2 two and two and 1-3 and three, and Jameer Gibbs was putting up this kind of production, I probably would be pretty worried. But, but, but even if David was playing the way he's playing, well, here's here's the thing. Cuz what's the record have to do with it? All right. So here's here's actually my my point as to why this whole Jameer Gibbs conversation does kind of bother me a little bit. It's not necessarily with what Jameer Gibbs has done because as somebody in the chat just mentioned, it's a uh, blade Blade Noisewood, he says that he has averaging 4.6 yards per carry, Jameer Gibbs, which is very, very good on 39 And you're a yards per carry guy. I am a huge yards per carry <laughs> we guy. We know. It's, yeah. it's much Leo higher, Herbert. Hey, it's much higher than David Montgomery's, by the way. But you know what? We're, I wasn't even going to go there. I'm not, I wasn't going to go there. I wasn't going to well, go there. Well, you went there. And you're all not. Right. All right. And I'm not going to go there. Keep driving the bus. All right. All right. Keep driving the bus. All right. But, but here's, here's the thing. It's not necessarily with Jameer Gibbs' production. It's with certain factions of Lions fans because... I think there are some people who are being a little bit too hard on Jameer Gibbs. If, if, if you're already saying that he could be a bust, I think that is very, very, very premature, especially considering the, the, the offense has played well and the Lions have played well. But this idea, too, that you have to kind of ease him in or whatnot, oh, he's just a rookie, that kind of bothers me a little bit, too. And you know what else bothers me? I'm not seeing this dynamic pass catcher that I was promised. I'm seeing somebody who has 14 receptions for 70 yards for five yards per catch. I'm not seeing somebody that you could think could be maybe their second or third leading receiver this year. I'm just not seeing that at all. I'm not seeing somebody that you can line up in the slot. I'm seeing someone that they're just kind of giving these short little passes to with no room for him to run in space.